Towering above the Hayward fault line, Warren Hall stares down at hundreds of students and faculty hiding a deadly secret. The iconic tower at California State University East Bay for years has been deemed seismically unable to withstand the next major earthquake, according to the July 5, 2001 issue of the Pioneer. In a U.S. geological survey, it was found that there is a 67% chance for at least one earthquake of magnitude 7 or larger in the San Francisco Bay Area between 1990 and 2020. Warren Hall um, suffered some pretty significant damage in the 89 earthquake. What they discovered that time was that the structure uh, really was built pretty poorly, especially for its location being 100 feet from the Hayward Fault. Um, and it's considered to be one of the most dangerous public buildings in all of California. It has been for almost uh, eight years now. Uh, top floor is the ninth, but of course it's, the building is about 14 stories tall. And you know, so there's several hundred people in there. So, uh, you know, it feels pretty sturdy. I mean, it'd have to be a pretty massive quake to, uh, to do damage to it. Um, they're all in denial. You have hundreds of people in there that are in denial. There's one thing to be in denial, but there's another thing to know about something that's going to happen and do nothing about it. Um, it's playing Russian roulette with hundreds of lives, and I just don't get why you need to do that. Um, it's not that hard to take a building that you know is dangerous and shut it down. Within the next uh, two to three years, there will be a new uh, administration building, student services building, they call it, on the east side of campus. And I've heard about the plan to chop off all the buildings except for the bottom three floors. I've yet to see anything done. And that's, I've been here six years. However, in addition to Warren Hall, the student services hub and the library are all on the state's top five most serious seismic problems and are continuing to be neglected. According to a 2006 CSU seismic retrofit priority listing, these buildings are all on priority list one, which requires that the buildings be retrofitted as soon as funds become available. Instead, in the past two years, three new buildings have gone up on campus, none of which address the earthquake problem. Uh, I know how unsafe that this building is, and it's one of those things where ignorance is bliss. It's better not to know about it than to actually dwell on the fact that if an earthquake happens, then we're all pretty much screwed. Not at all. The whole area near that building is up really high, so there's not really much option for um, a safe zone. Uh, even ducking and covering isn't going to do much. You can't really stop a 14-story building from falling on you, so I'm going to try to run. I would, I guess, if I can get up, I would, uh, out of my chair, I would uh, try to stand under the doorway. If the big one hits and you are in or near the tower, what will you do? As of right now, the university continues to usher students and administration into the building where the imminent massive funeral procession that might be held in Warren Hall. You should be very afraid.